Hey, it's Ben from Digital Mastery in Masters Academy. And here I wanna show you how to maintain flexibility with your cropping. When you take an image from Lightroom, you send it to Photoshop, and then you end up back in Lightroom again. The problem is if you crop your image in Lightroom, then when you tell it to edit in Photoshop, then the only thing you get is what was inside the cropped area. Whatever's outside of it is thrown away. So therefore, when you get back to Lightroom, if you attempt to adjust the cropping, you can't get back any of the stuff that was originally cropped out unless you use this technique. Let's take a look. So here I have an image in Lightroom and I have the crop tool. I'm going to crop this image and maybe make it for Instagram, a nice little square image. Maybe I'll crop it so with the rule of thirds where my wife Karen is sitting right at the intersection of those grid lines and that's the crop I'd really like. Get out of my crop tool, this is what I like. The problem is if I now go to the photo menu and I come down here to edit in and tell it to send this to Photoshop, the only thing that's going to be sent to Photoshop is what you see here after that cropping has happened. And if I make a change here in Photoshop, let's say I end up doing some retouching, take out this little part, although I doubt it'll completely take it out, uh, take that out and do whatever it is I want. Could be adjustments, could be retouching, could be anything. Well, now if I say I'm done, I close this image and I tell it to save it. It's going to save it back into the same folder as the original. When we return to Lightroom, if I go back to the library module, you'll see we have two versions of the image, the original raw file, and here's that TIFF. Well, the problem is if I work on the TIFF that's been retouched, you can tell it's been retouched because if you look at the little drips from the orange thing, you can see they've been removed. Well, I head to my develop module, grab my crop tool. There's no way to get that information back. Same with if I open that image into Photoshop again, it simply doesn't contain what's outside that cropping rectangle. So let's go back to our library module and let's go back to the original raw file. And here's how I would handle this to make it so I could still crop the image here in Lightroom. Uh, first, before I open this image into Photoshop, I'm going to head to the develop module and in the develop module, I'll grab my crop tool. And when I'm in the crop tool, I'm going to hit reset. Now, I might be throwing away that cropping for now, but we're going to get it back in just a moment. Then I wanted to edit this image, so I'm going to edit in Photoshop. This is what I would have done to begin with instead of cropping first and then heading to Photoshop without uncropping. So here I'm in Photoshop. Let's do the similar kind of retouching again. And then when we're done, since this Photoshop file contains the entire image. Uh, if I close it and I save it, then we're going to end up with that new version over here in Lightroom when I return. Here's the retouched version, uh, but it doesn't have the cropping. So now let's get the cropping in there. We're going to go back to the original raw file. We're going to go back to the develop module, but we don't have to recrop it. I might have done that very precisely the first time. Instead, I'm going to go to the left side of my screen and I'll choose history. In history, you'll see the last step that I did was resetting the cropping on that original raw file. I'll just back up a step so we have the original crop that I desired. Then, since this is a raw file, when I edited it in Photoshop, we ended up with a secondary file. So let's go back to our library module, and now we just need to get this cropping onto that version. To do so, you right-click on the raw file, you come down here to Develop Settings, and tell it that you would like to copy the settings. But you don't want to copy everything, so over here, choose Check None. So all these checkboxes get turned off, then choose Crop. Choose Copy. And now go to that TIFF file that you ended up editing in Photoshop and right click on it. Choose develop settings and choose paste settings. Now it should have the same cropping as the raw file, but that is our retouch TIFF. You see here, you can see the drippies are kind of uh, missing. And we can always go to the develop module at any time and grab that crop tool. And you see, we can get back the full image because I can see it all out there. But what if I need to make further changes in Photoshop? Well, that's no problem now. Just go to your photo menu, choose edit in, and say you want to edit in Photoshop. When you do, this little message will come up and you want to choose edit original. 
because those changes that we made with the crop tool are just saved as text in your Lightroom catalog file right now. They didn't change the original file at all. So now we can grab that original TIFF file, in this case, the one that was generated by Photoshop, we can open it right back into Photoshop, make as many changes as we want and save it. And when we return to Lightroom, the cropping will reapply. Let's take a look. Here, I'm gonna choose Edit Original and choose Edit. In Photoshop, we see the full uncropped version of the image, and I can come in here and attempt to retouch out some other pieces that I might not want. And when I'm done with all of that, I can come in and all I'm gonna do is close the image and choose save. Remember, we saw the entire picture here, but then we'll return over here to Lightroom and see what our results look like. Here we are back in Lightroom, and this is our end result. And it has those little pieces retouched out. If I go to my crop tool, you can see that it doesn't have those little drippies. So we have the versatility of being able to crop here in Lightroom. And I find that to be best because then if somebody asks for a vertical, I can come over here and unlock this and tell it I would like to make a vertical for a magazine cover. Or if somebody else wants a two page spread for the middle of a magazine, I can come out here and crop it differently and I'm not limited to only what was inside that cropping rectangle when I head to Photoshop. I see the entire picture when I make my edit. So there you have it. If you want to learn more about Lightroom, Photoshop, and photography, visit mastersacademy.com. That's where I spend most of my time.